Okay, now third comes the stripped volume. Right click on one of the unallocated parts of your the disk drives that actually are free. Um, click new volume, click next and choose stripped. Okay, what is the stripped volume? Let's click next and see what options do we have. Well, as you see here, next is uh, disabled again, so I'm forced to choose another disk drive too. I would choose um, disk 3, and here I would choose, I would set uh, disk 2 to be using 150. As you saw here, automatically they, um, it chose 150 megabytes uh, for disk 2 and disk 3 also to be used. So the option that we don't have here that we had in span volume is that to create um, actually a volume that is using uh, dissimilar amounts of this storage that we have on and that is unallocated on um, several um, dynamic disks. So what we do uh, here, what, what we are not allowed to do is to choose uh, dissimilar amounts and it, we're forced only to choose uh, a fixed amount of storage. So as soon as we um, type 150 here for example, it would be choosing 150 megabytes of disk 3 and 150 megabytes of disk 2 to be creating this stripped volume. Click next, it would choose the uh, drive letter, click next, we're not going to format it and click next and finish. Okay, now uh, what is the stripped volume? Uh, what what does it have? So it would make it actually better than a simple volume or a span volume. Well, um, within a stripped volume, you would have actually faster access, your higher higher speed access to your data, and actually they are not extendable as you see, and. Um, data on these kind of volumes are actually interleaved uh, across two or more physical disks which here we've got only two disks and um, the, also the data on these kind of volumes are allocated alternately and evenly to each, uh, to each of the physical disks so uh, this is about stripped and we've got also spanned here proceed ahead to see what else do we have click new volume click next and we've got mirrored um, well what are mirrored volumes as you see we've got here a little description a mirrored volume duplicates your data on two dynamic disks create a mirrored volume if you want to keep two separate copies of all your information to prevent a loss prevent data loss so it's, it's exactly um, uh, performing like a mirror um, whatever whatever data you have on one disk you have it exactly the same on, an, on the other one so let's click next see what kind of options do we have we'll remove disk 2 and add disk 5 as you see here I'm not able to click ne next although by choosing only one disk I'll choose this 4 too. So right now, uh, so as you see, I was only limited to choose at least two um, dynamic disks to create my volume. So I would choose, for instance, um, two, not 200, yeah, 200. Uh, let me make it 70 so I've got enough space for RAID. You know, I'll choose 70 megabytes. And as you see, since it's a mirror, okay. If you're going to be storing 70 megabytes of uh, this um, data on your disk for disk, um, you have to be uh, having another 70 megabyte of uh, actually um, storage on your disk five to be actually creating a mirrored volume. Okay, as you click next, um, choose the drive letter, do not format, next, and finish. Okay, one other thing about uh, mirrored volume is that. Let me show it here so you get a better idea. Here, although it is mirrored, okay, you will not be actually seeing two different volumes. And since it's mirrored, okay, although you choose 270 megabytes that you're using right now, and you should actually be saying, okay, I'm going to be having 140 this storage. Actually, that's not right because 
you're using 70 megabytes of disk storage and using the other 70 as your mirror as your backup so whatever whatever data that you put in this L drive which has only um, L drive which has only uh, an amount of 70 megabytes of disk storage the mirror would be be placed on disk 5 which has another 70 so um, you won't be having separate actually volumes on your disk drive well that's for the mirrored volume and we will proceed ahead to create a RAID 5 volume oh, one thing I forgot to say um, normally um, stripped volumes are known as RAID 0 mirrored volumes are known as RAID 1 and here we go for the RAID 5 uh, right click on the uh, unallocated spaces and click new volume click next choose RAID 5 and click next okay here still the next option is unavailable for me so I'll choose another disk still unavailable choose another disk and now it's available for me okay between all of these I'm going to be choosing for instance 400 and as you see again it's acting for me like a mirror but the difference between a mirrored volume and also uh, a RAID 5 volume is that the way that data is stored on different and several multiple disks so I would be uh, making a quick review after I finish this so what's the difference between a mirrored volume and a RAID 5 volume okay let's click next volume letter we don't want to format it click next and finished okay it's going to be regenerating the actually the RAID 5 volume okay as you see right now we've got a, a M volume which is RAID 5 it's bigger RAID 5 it's placed on a dynamic disk healthy and it has 800 megabytes of disk space now the question that would be is that we were creating uh, actually a volume from three disks which we chose 400 megabytes of disk storage so three disks 400 megabytes of disk storage would be around 1.2 gigabytes of disk storage but this is only 800 where is 400? Uh, where is the four other 400 megabyte that I chose to be added to this RAID 5? Well, 800 megabytes you would be able to. Uh, eight, you would be able to place your data on only 800 megabytes, and the the rest of the 400 megabytes that we were talking about earlier is only used um, for data. So that if one of your hard drives uh, for example, three or four uh, actually dies, goes dead. Um, with all the data that is placed here on the additional 400 megabyte, um, 400 megabyte of this storage, it, they would be accessible. Now, the difference between a mirrored volume and the RAID 5 volume is that mirrored volumes copy exactly what you have from the first from the first 70 megabyte exactly to the, to the other 70 megabyte of disk storage that you assign to them but the difference between mirrored and RAID is that uh, RAID doesn't do that RAID chooses actually some kind of parity checks and whenever for instance um, your data on disk for um, actually is gone and you accidentally delete it or whatever you do to it um, you c actually it could regenerate all the data that you had um, from the parity checks that are being placed on the additional 400 megabytes of disk storage that we are not using right now so that was the difference between RAID 5 and mirrored well here as you see we created primary partitions, extended partitions logical drive, span volume, strip volume, mirrored volume, and rate 5 volumes. Well, let me see if there's anything else that I have to say. Um, looks like we're finished. Thank you for spending your time and watching our video. Well, if you're satisfied and you know, somehow with this video, you could either subscribe rate or either leave me a comment so I could send more videos that we, you would be interested in 